Cancer, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Just throwing on my my glasses. If you guys are interested in these glasses, I've got some questions uh, about them. They are my personal brand glasses from my own company as well. So if you guys would like to support me and the channel, you can go over to the link in the description below and you'll be able to find the number one eye, best eye protection in the world, which is our blue light glasses. We spent two years specialized in the design and getting these ready for the people. And we've now launched coming into 2024. So if you are interested, make sure you hit that description down below and you will see the first link in relation, number one eye protection and organic cotton clothing. You click that over, it'll lead you to mccloudsbrand.com. There you'll see the variety of glasses that we have. We have a few different colorways and a few different pairs, very limited stock, but it is still available. Make sure you head over there and check that out. Anyways, I thank you for supporting the channel. Here are my Cancerians and everyone tuning in. I appreciate you threefold. We're going to get straight into the reading. Cancer. So if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Progressed, this is your tarot card reading. This is your message for the week ahead. And you get your readings on Sunday. So that'll give you some incentive, which is a great day for you to follow up. Come to the channel. Check out your readings. Check out your energy forecast. And at least be consciously aware of the week ahead. What may be approaching you, what may you, what you may be attracting, certain obstacles that may over be overcome. So when they do manifest in your life in certain ways, you can identify it and say, you know what, I was aware of this the whole time, so I actually know what decision I want to make, right? Because um, you're able to have a little bit more awareness throughout that situation. So your level of consciousness was expanded. So therefore, your decision making process will be clear will be more clear or clearer right uh, more expansive be able to think a little bit more logically it'll res you'll be able to resonate with the situation a little bit more so you have more incentive on what decision or what actions you need to actually take like this is the whole point of what we got going on but Tarot's tarot is never predicting anything i'm never telling you what is going to happen because as you're watching this video you have the conscious awareness to make the choice for this entire spread to play out completely differently but based upon your choices so and even then sometimes based upon your choices things may play out they just may play out differently not like how the spread laid it out right because you decide to you decided to make a different choice so this is always based upon like the relative choice that you naturally gravitate to or the, or you'll naturally make right based upon natural selection of choices right based upon your history where you're at now your current consciousness and awareness etc oh, i have to i felt like that needed to be explained maybe for someone out there who if you're new to the channel i'm hearing and you don't understand tarot and how it how it can quote unquote predict something happening or how we can portray something that is yet to happen because time is time is non-linear in the physical realm, which I'm going to make. Maybe I'll do a separate video for, but time is non-linear in the spiritual realm. Sorry. Right. That our concept of time and what we know of time doesn't play out the same way. The past, present and future is all happening simultaneously. Right. And when you're aware and you're aware of this based upon your level of consciousness. When you're at a certain level of consciousness, the past, present, and future, the, the past and the future no longer exist. It's only the present moment. And, every, and, and the past and the future then merges to the present moment because of the level of consciousness you're at. You're able to perceive your own future based upon your own conscious awareness and actions that you take. And you're able to merge with your past based upon completing certain cycles, understanding certain behaviors that went brought you down certain roads and things of that nature. So your level of consciousness has then ascended from the past. So you no longer resonate with past situations that you used to do. Therefore, your past is merged with your present moment. So everything you do in the present that is that is that ends up in the past is something you're consciously aware of, con like you're consciously aware of regularly, right? So everything that happens or ends up in your past, based upon your conscious awareness in the present moment, you're always conscious of because you consciously made the choice. For something to happen it's like you're aware of what you do therefore nothing happens by accident right or or merely coincidence and someone needs to hear that as i know i'm channeling i, I get my my crown chakra uh confirmation that, that, that i get a, i get a pineal gland, gland buzz in the back of my head um that's where i start noticing that i am channeling and there is a um spirit presence here right 
and I am integrating with my higher self here. So there's some there's some of you guys that need to understand this message and understand tarot in a deeper sense. I'm hearing so that way you can when you hear the message, it uh, you can apply it and really resonate with you in your own life here. All right. So now that I broke that down, I might cut I may make that a short segment video as well. But we're going to get straight into the reading here, my Cancerians. I thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tapping in. Let's check out your energy let's see happy sunday for you i hope you guys are doing well my cancers out there hope you guys have had a great weekend so far i actually do your i do every reading the day before so it is saturday for me it is a beautiful saturday here a little bit gloomy a little bit raining uh, on the north side here on the east coast but nonetheless it is spring season and i'm excited for the sun and the weather is getting better as as a whole in general so you know, it's good to get back outside, good to start doing, you know, getting back out there and things of that nature. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Let's get straight into it. Cancer, show me cancer, show me cancer, show me cancer. Show me cancer. Cancerians, cancerians, cancerians. Okay, now that we're getting into the spread, there's a lot of goosebumps, guys. There's a lot of messages for some for you, and then I get my, like... My candle starts to do a thing too. These are all confirmations I use for myself to know that when I'm really tapping in the energy, who's, you know, what what energy is here, and you know what messages spirit wants me to portray, and let you know. Also, with the incentive and the intelligence of and guidance of my own higher self, which allows me to receive the messages and perceive the messages and communicate the messages in a way you can understand it in your life based upon where you're at mentally in the 3D or the physical. As I break these down, see guys, there's a collect there's a collective of you. So if any of you don't know understand tarot there's a collective of you guys, right? When I say I'm tapping into the collective energy, for example, this is a cancer reading. So I'm tapping into the collective spirits that embody the cancer zodiacal energy who was born through the cancer space in the sky, right? As a spirit, if you were brought down here, you were born as a cancer, sun, moon, ascending, or progressed. If, if, you're, if your current charts are progressed, you're going to play things out this way. But if you are born a sun, moon, cancer, Sun, moon, or cancer, because the moon is ruled by uh, cancer is ruled by the moon. There's an area in the, there's a space in, or AKA area in the sky that you were born through as a spirit. You came through that air, that that space, that space first, right? That form of that form of consciousness first. If you if you can't resonate with the space, you were in a form of consciousness that resonated with a certain space in the spirit realm, right? In the, in, in 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 as a whole, and that we map out. As in the area of the sky to be or to create the cancer constellation but that was first came, that first came from a space of, of, of awareness right a space of a space of consciousness a space of awareness so then we can give the external representation of cancer and the area of the sky the zodiac and the constellations etc which the zodiac and the constellations are two different things which is why I'm saying that area that um, area of the sky area of consciousness as you know known as cancer you were birth that was your birth space right so you're aware the the awareness uh, there's a lot of spirits who come through the awareness and the birth space of cancer right so those you guys who are in spirits and bodies right now watching this video as cancer sun moon ascendance right there's a multitude of you there, there, therefore, there's a multitude of spirits, right, who have the same form of conscious, same form of consciousness, or conscious awareness. You know, it's so, so there's certain things that are going to resonate with you guys. So, as I have the ability to tap into that collective of spirits, that space of consciousness, I'm able to be aware of the awareness going on within that space, within that body of water, that form of consciousness. Right, so I can I can I can perceive the form of consciousness in within that space. Therefore, that lets me know, as spirits, where you guys are at as individuals. If you guys understand that, it gets deep in the spirit realm. But 
I'm going to do a little bit more videos and then get a little bit more esoteric. Maybe we'll do some Rumble exclusive stuff. But guys, getting into the spread, uh, maybe I'll put a timestamp below so you guys can like skip to the actual spread. Um, we have the Two of Swords here. What hmm, Choice? An idea? Mental solitude? Like peace? Is that the underlining theme here for you, Cancer? It's weird. Maybe that's maybe that's why I'm talking about something. Spending a lot of time overthinking, trying to focus on your progress or how to progress. There could be a lover holding you back. Or if you've yet to make a choice, hesitant on a choice. As I see the lover's energy, Gemini energy there. You may not know what choice to make. And I see mutable energy. So if you're mutable, if you have any mutable energy in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, right those um and or sagittarius those are mutable mutable energies right so if you have that in your chart you could be based upon overthinking bouncing from one choice to the next too much so be mindful of that or bouncing from one thing to another too often and it's, it's creating it's not creating a, a sense of stability for you especially because I see the eight of discs here routine um, organization foundation stability etc earnings finances right with that in position four you could be overthinking right and whatever ch choices that you're whatever whatever choices you're bouncing back and forth from or with is not allowing you to develop a sense of stability right it's keeping you away from this a, a solid routine or solid structure in some way shape or form so we pulled your mystery confirmation cards at the top over there we're going to keep that to the side and we're going to get into your spread so with the fool showing itself first spontaneous thinking outside the box i'm hearing don't be a fool i'm hearing don't be foolish with this card in the past i feel like you're you've either said you know what it's time for me to be more freeing or just explore a little bit more explore your ideas a little bit more explore your mind or in you in you know these thoughts Maybe you're having certain thoughts that you know you you take you're hesitant hesitant to take action on or move forward with and but you are just in an open an open minded foolish type of energy. You're very spontaneous right now. Um I'm hearing be mindful of that as you don't want to end up in a tight situation. Um being too spontaneous. It's always it's always good to be discerning, have to have discernment. Um if this is a work thing or you're going through something spiritually, you're, 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 you're transiting, you're learning, you're educating, then yeah, be open-minded. Um, if you're just open-minded for the sake of saying, yeah, let me just um, have all this fun or, or forget about my responsibilities, then that's a different type of open-minded, right? Um, because with the Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, a lot of these eights, that's keeping you stuck in a cycle. And it's time for you to have discernment, especially with the Knight of Swords, your current energy, like make sure you have discernment. And I I see you want to move forward with an idea or a mindset or even some sort of communication with an individual person, place or thing. Um, but it's hard for you to create some stability around this mindset or this idea you have of yourself. You can see how this idea is good for you and how it may play out in the long run with the Seven of Swords here. But it's it may not it like it doesn't make sense for you to do. It's like you don't want to incorporate this thing right now. You like this freeing energy, this airheaded energy, right? Um, not being too tied down to something, um, not being too tangible. You know, you're you're really like the wind right now. I'm hearing you're like the wind. You're free like the wind. You don't want to be stuck to anything. You don't want to be attached to anything. Um, you kind of want to just explore your mind, explore who you are, 
right um i don't see like any one energy so i feel like it's like you're exploring you're exploring your spirit you're exploring what what calls you and where you resonate right with that zero energy it's like your space your spirit yeah so it's like and mm, maybe that's why i went into that little tangent earlier because your your spirit your spirit is going through something your your soul you you're trying to make sense of of who you are at your soul level like you're coming into grips and and in your mind is now understanding who you are as a soul and what this what this means for you so it's you're still learning i'm hearing how to build a routine around this and you're still understanding who you are so it's hard for you. It may not make sense for you to build a routine right now and know what steps to take and what to build and et cetera because it, 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 you're still learning it. You're still understanding it. In position five, we have, in within others' perspectives, we have the emperor, which is good. Aries energy, um, empowerment. It is time to get organized. Uh, it may be time for you to take control in some way, shape, or form over possibly your emotions because it's in position five. Numerology, uh, numerology Gematria 5 talks about um, your emotional state, well-being, etc. And with the 4 energy there, that's the logic, that's the mind. And that is you making sense out of how you feel, you making sense of your emotions. And I think this is you becoming more emotionally intelligent here, Cancer. Um, and this is what's going to put you in a position in a way where you can be in charge of your life you can understand who you are at your core level and know what actions to take know what actions to back who you are and where you're at right because the energy the emperor is boss energy as well is stepping in charge is becoming the initiator and i think this is you doing that in your own life over your own emotional state right over your own emotions over your own well-being you are starting to step in and take charge and say, you know what? At a soul level, I'm in charge of my healing. I'm in charge of how I feel. I'm in charge of my own stability. I need to step in and organize certain things because I know where this is going to take me in the long run. We have the sevens energy here, the seven of cups and the seven of swords. And this, a lot of readers will portray this as a negative thing. And I'm just saying that so you have the incentive to know what may be going on in your life, right? There could be a lot of overthinking. There could be a lot of arguments. There could be a lot of external opinions and thoughts that you're worried about from other people. But that has nothing to do with who you are at a soul level, at your core, with the emperor and, and, the, and the fool. Who you are as a spirit, these other opinions... And what you're worried about has nothing to do with who you are and your position in your own life. Focus on your own life and and how do you how to progress as a soul in your own life. And and I think you'll start you'll start making sense out of your day to day, your routine, your your health, etc. You could be losing your health in this process as well. Maybe this overthinking is causing like anxiety, nervous system issues, dietary issues. Um, digestive issues or nervous system issues like I said anxiety or anxiousness <clears throat> I'm also not a doctor so I'm just intuitive so if you need to see a doctor please go see a doctor personally I'm a holistic health practitioner and I'm big on holistic health and natural health I think natural health is the number one or the first go to you should always go to um, if natural health hasn't worked, then you go to pharmaceuticals. <laughs> they flipped it backwards on us where they make you go to pharmaceuticals worse, but that's actually not a solution. It just causes more problems, in my humblest and genuine opinion. Um, although, if pharmaceuticals are working for you, I salute you and I am happy for you. And continue doing what works for you in your life. Namo Hamala. That's just a disclaimer because this is YouTube. So, um, and shout out to my Rumble fam as well. Uh, let's see, getting into it. So, that's a little bit of the Emperor. This is getting long-winded. So, I'm going to finish off here. We're tapping into the mystery card. We see you need to pay attention to the Seven of Cups. So, there's a lot of things that uh, you, you, know, you may think are fulfilling. You may think 
serve you you may you may think are opportunities you may think are relationships but they're not you're just wasting your time right with these things that you're that like a lot of these things you relate to you're just wasting your time doing like you're losing with this fool card in the past i'm hearing you like you could be losing your soul and losing the essence of your spirit by being caught up in things that no longer serve you that you don't even relate to at your core, you don't even relate to these things. This is why you're looking at it from the outside in. Like, bro, should I even be doing this? Or I don't even do this often. Why did I do that? Or this is not usually me, but I, I decided to do it. Like, so why, what was it? What, what was it? Like, there's something that you're discovering within your soul at a soul level that's very, um, is going to cause a rude, a rude awakening, I'm hearing. Right? And then that's what I think this Eight of Swords is showing us. It's really putting you in a space to really analyze and expand your ways of thinking. So you're going to start, it's, it's going to put you in a new cycle to where you're no longer just overthinking anything, but you're starting to educate and learn from the experiences that you went through. And you're applying the knowledge where necessary. This right here, the Eight of Discs, is like applied, applied knowledge, applied education, doing what makes sense. Because this is Jupiter, this is, a, this is the abundance energy, this is the expansive, this is the wisdom, this is the meaning and reasoning and experience. The Eight of Swords, spending a whole lot of time thinking about these things. So how can you expand? How can you ascend? What can you learn from? What can you assess? What did you participate in before that wasn't for you, that's no longer for you, that offers no value? What does offer value that you can participate in, that has opportunity, that has connection? Like these are th like these are the things where it's leading you to analyze, right? When you really when you really focus and pay attention to what people, places, and things serve you and don't serve you, it's gonna you're gonna end up and you put and you place your attention on that. You're gonna end up asking yourself these questions, and that's what the Eight of Swords is. You asking yourself these questions, and that's how you expand out of that cycle, because you're now asking the right questions. Oh, that's brought you clarity, Cancer. When to tap into the mystery confirmation card, comment down below what you think this mystery confirmation card is <clears throat> i see a couple major arcanas we have water air earth fire with the emperor we have all the elements even spirit with the with the fool so i love it all five elements and we're going to tap into here with this mystery card and we're going to see what is up here we're going to get a look at the current energy tie everything together personally i'm seeing a lot of air it's a lot of air. There could be this could be this could be a double confirmation with the air. Um, I would like to see a double fool to show me that you're really focused on your spirit, your space, and where you are at, your, at a soul level. You could be you tapping into a deeper sense of spirituality as well, being open to learning new things possibly within the realm of spirituality and it could even be the realms of of um self-development with the aries energy right you could be learning about self-development right now um what things to incorporate to to better who you are as an individual right uh but the confirmation card coming out is a ten of swords and i was gonna yeah literally we would see more air if not major arcana i would think in more air that's the first thing i said so you know, all this air energy, I'm not surprised we see the Ten of Wands. But now that we see the Ten of Wands, this is good because you got to you can't be afraid and you can't hide behind the questions. You have to ask the right questions in order for you to become aware and know what to do, know what next steps to take. And the Ten of Swords here is asking, is saying and is telling you, Spirit is letting you know that when you ask the right questions, you will no longer stab yourself in the back. You will no longer be your own worst enemy. Because you have to be willing to step out of your own comfort zone. You have to be willing to break the cage of your own mind. So this is you doing that. Because you're realizing how much times you've stabbed yourself in the back and became your own worst enemy. So the 10 is completion. You're no longer doing this. As an individual, you're shifting spaces. Certain things are no longer resonating with you. Certain people are no longer resonating with you. So no, Certain habits are no longer resonating with you. And you will know which octave you're going, whether you are propelling to the positive side of things or you've been incorporating worse habits and things of that nature. 
right? Because this can also be a cycle of ending. Like, for example, maybe you're used to expansive thoughts and things of that nature and a positive thing. But all of a sudden, you you started acting a fool and going down a dark a, a darker path to where your routine, your health, started, you started throwing it off and you didn't put any attention on that. You started going, you started focusing on a bunch of opportunities with the Seven of Cups that no longer served you. Relationships, friends, and places that, you know, was just draining at the end of the day. It only drained your well. And now, and then now you may be questioning and expanding your thought forms in a way that is negative. Damn, how did this happen? Or, you know, damn, I don't know if I'm worth it. Or damn, I don't know where I'm meant to be. Right. And and you could be even more confused. I like to say I read for the higher octaves. So there's a lot of powerful spirits that watch my channel. Those are the only spirits I watch. I mean, that want that I want watching is a powerful spirit. So I always read for the higher octave energy. But I'm very aware that this may play out as a lower octave as well with the swords energy. You could be this could be you stabbing yourself with your mind. And not being and not finding the courage to step out of your comfort zone, you keep downplaying yourself and talking bad about yourself and 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 where you are at in life, and how much you've been through, and how all the, all the people you've helped, with the emperor, in position and helped organize and and was a boss towards didn't wasn't there for you, right? So now you're like you know what? Nah. I'm moving with separation and these people want to mess with me. I'm cutting off whoever I need to cut off. And if anyone's kind of come with outside opinion, I got all the smoke for him. But like I said, I don't like to read for lower octaves because that that's not serving you any purpose. You got to step out. If that is you, you got to step out of that energy. It's not all, it's not about revenge. It's not a, what about, about what people did done to you. It's about where you're at and what you can do. Not to other people, but for yourself to better yourself. So with that being said, if you resonate with the lower octave side of things, you know exactly what to do. Because I just read for the whole higher, the whole the, for all the higher octaves. So if you're a lower octave re listening to this, then you know exactly what to do. It's a powerful message here, Cancer. Hope you start your week off strong. I hope this got you, brought you clarity. As always, you always know you're the most important part to this channel. I'm always watching from afar, and I'm always rooting for you. This is it. As we close out the energy, thank you for tuning in to Triple Three's Tarot. If you want to learn anything more, check the description box below. MC Triple Three, we out. Let's go.